And one of the most common investments people make is in real estate. So to discuss this with us, Jojo Salas, he is the head of research and consulting of Pinnacle Real Estate Consulting Services, will be joining us today. Good morning. Good morning, Claire. And oh. as we know it, uh, like you mentioned, people have sometimes the extra money to invest. Um, do you think investing in real estate is a good idea? Definitely, definitely. I mean, wherever you go in the Philippines, in the provinces, abroad, uh, real, real estate is uh, one of the platforms or uh, investment instruments. Um, of course, uh, the cycle would be different uh, compared to um, stock exchange or uh, Forex mm -hmm. or even uh, like um, if you're managing restaurants, uh, the cycle for uh, real estate would be a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, say, um, if you buy raw land in the provinces, um, even if uh, a few hundred thousand pesos uh, uh, on hand, uh, you have to wait longer. But uh, say Metro Manila or uh, just the fringes of Metro Manila, uh, growth areas like, um, of course, um, uh, Cavite, Laguna, Bulacan, Rizal, or even like the Bay Area, you know, along, along the Bay, Rojas Macapagal, Boulevard. Rojas mm -hmm. Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Prices there are really, really uh, just... just uh, going to the sky. So um, dep depending on your um, risk uh, tolerance, depending mm -hmm. on your um, investment um, uh, targets, um, real estate is really a, a good platform. Okay, but on the contrary, because there's so much construction going on now, everywhere you look, there's construction happening, infrastructure happening, which is a good sign. But at the rate that the Philippines is going, do you think it's possible that there could be a bubble burst or an oversupply of real estate properties that are for sale? Um, obviously, when there are a lot of cranes going up, uh, people would be, um, hey, is this uh, too much or uh, do I go out, say, uh, to the provinces? But I think there's no uh, bubble because of the, of the demand. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of uh, developments, there are a lot of um, uh, players in the market, big players, uh, small players. But uh, what's more important would be the demand. Mm -hmm. If there are buyers, uh, obviously, um, developers uh, being we'll the suppliers building. will keep on building. Mm -hmm. I mean, if there are no buyers, obviously they would stop building or they would slow down or they would delay some of their projects. Right. But uh, say uh, uh, residential, I mean, there's a backlog of uh, more than three, even five million mm -hmm. uh, all over the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, developers are... Um, really uh, trying to um, uh, fill, fill that up mm -hmm. uh, in Metro Manila, just outside of Metro Manila, all over the country. Uh, in terms of um, high-end, high-end real estate like um, Fort, uh, Bonifacio Global City, Makati, uh, even the Bay Area, mm -hmm. uh, there's just a lot of uh, pent-up demand to, um, to um, uh, service uh, the foreign foreign. Uh, buyers, foreign uh, tenants, mm. uh, e even the, the rich. I mean, they, they give up uh, they give up their um, plush um, subdivision villages like Forbes Dustman. They would move into a really nice um, uh, four bedroom um, penthouses. Right. So uh, there's and no there's no bubble. There's no. Yeah. No, but like <laughs> but but like you mentioned, um, b people should think twice before investing because there is that demand. So uh, real estate developers are hiking up their prices, and it could get really expensive. So do you think um, to, for people to wisely invest, maybe they should wait it out a bit? Do you think that the prices may go down later on? Uh, it, it really depends. Again, uh, when you choose, uh, say, um, uh, w when you mention that, usually the hyper-competitive uh, market, say uh, Makati, Fort, Ortigas, or even Alabang, and Las Piñas um, areas, uh, even Mandaluyong in San Juan. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, r really, uh, players now, the, the big players, they're offering a lot of uh, products, um, townhouses, condominium units. Um, before, single detached houses, but now you would be looking at townhouses. But in, in San Juan, 20 million townhouses, that's... that's Hey, can, can they really buy this 20 million in, 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 in San Juan? Yes, exactly. Uh, but they are buyers. Right, right. But, but the thing is, um, again, uh, when you're buying, is it for your use? So that's end use. Mm. Because if you're using it, you don't mind if it's really expensive. I right, mean, it's for right. your convenience, for your family. Then even you, if you spend uh, extra uh, for, for convenience, for mobility, for um, 
uh, well, especially going to work, I mean, it would be um, shorter, then th that's okay. But um, if uh, you want just purely for investment mm -hmm. to, to earn money, mm -hmm. of course, it's a, a balance between your acquisition costs mm -hmm. and your returns, or um, if you could rent it out. Right. I mean, say, um, it would take a little bit longer uh, to rent it out because there are a lot of uh, available space for rent true then uh, your returns would be uh, lower mm -hmm. right so, uh, the, so those are the factors to consider yes. now in terms of places to invest um, let's say people do want to invest um, what are the areas that um, you would rec uh, advise or also another question would be because there's so many new developments compared to the older structures the new developments seem to be smaller cuts mm -hmm. but with newer facilities yes. and then you have the older structures that have bigger cuts yes but you know there's they don't have that nice posh swimming pool or gym and all that so what would you advise like if it's people are weighing in their options between those two uh, that's a good question because usually for for um older buildings say a 10 year old uh well 10 year and older building they have bigger cuts Usually, uh, their amenities are just okay, so, so. Uh, but the thing is, um, big cuts, high ceiling, so it's really for convenience. Yeah. But the thing is, usually, when you buy these old buildings, uh, uh, their prices sort of uh, picked up, and perhaps they're a little bit uh, sliding down. So, but uh, if you are buying and using uh, financing, say, bank financing, mm -hmm. then the, the appraised values are, are, are there, and it could be you could easily use them as uh, your collateral, right? Your security. Mm -hmm. For new uh, buildings, smaller, efficient. Um, and uh, I know there are a lot of stories where they, they buy pre-selling. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, um, Is that a uh, good idea, pre-selling? Uh, yes. Again, it depends on the location. Mm -hmm. uh, just outside uh, the CBDs like Makati and Ortigas, like, of course, you have uh, Las Piñas, Alabang, Quezon City, Mandaluyong. If you have this, usually the room for uh, price appreciation is higher mm -hmm. compared to the established Makati, even Fort, even Ortigas, mm -hmm. uh, where prices are sort of uh, plateaued already. Right, uh, right. The room for price increase or appreciation is not that much, but for growth areas, uh, like, like in, in the Bay Area, even mm -hmm. Mandaluyong, San Juan, mm -hmm. the room for price appreciation is so, so huge. Okay, so in connection to that, lastly, so what would you advise for people? What areas would be the most up-and-coming places to invest that people maybe don't even know about yet? Uh, actually, wherever you go, within Metro Manila, outside of Metro Manila, in the provinces, there are a lot of um, uh, possible markets. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my, uh, my advice would be first due diligence. Make sure, of course, the developers or your, uh, the, the seller, uh, they're credible, they're reputable. Right. The titles would be, uh, should be uh, clean, right? Uh, right? And uh, next, in terms of location, uh, the location you are comfortable with. Mm -hmm. uh, say, if you live in, in, say, here in Mandaluyong area, at least you could go north and a little bit of south, mm -hmm. uh, where you are comfortable. But say you live in uh, Alabang, going north, say, Kalokan, uh, uh, Quezon City or even San Juan would be a long drive or mm -hmm. vice versa. If you live in uh, San Juan, Quezon City, buying in, in Muntinlupa might be a long drive. Mm -hmm. So uh, areas you are comfortable with. Okay. Uh, and of course, within your budget. That's true. Uh, within your budget and within your, um, uh, because you could easily get loans now mm -hmm. within your uh, monthly amortization scheme. Okay, so, uh, so due diligence. And we'll have possibly part two about this. Uh, we can talk more about the money and the mortgage and what you need uh, in order to buy some real estate property these days. Yep. Well, thank you so much for coming thank in today. Too, thank you. And that was uh, Jojo uh, Salas of the Pinnacle Real Estate Consulting Services.